Okay, these are percussion blade core preforms. And these were all made using just hammer stones from rough chunks of rock, similar to what you see up there. And uh, the goal here is just to rough out a core to get the general shape and to get it ready to go so that it's got a platform on there and it's got some good ridges so that you can begin uh, removing pressure blades with a chest crutch or a tool like that. Now the blades that come off of these cores are pretty irregular. They've got a lot of cortex on them. They're really not much good for anything. But the idea here is just to make a, uh, a core preform that could be transported. This is what the Mesoamericans would do at the, uh, at the quarry sites. They would rough these out and then uh, somebody would transport these to the actual workshops where the pressure bladers would go ahead and make fine pressure blades. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, then afterwards we'll do a segment on how to actually remove the pressure blades. Okay, this should make a pretty nice core right here. It's already got a little bit of a taper to it, so the distal end will be down here. We'll establish a platform up here, and we'll get rid of some of the uh, irregularities over here that are jutting out. I'll start by doing that. Got to get into the rock first, get rid of that cortex. Start working on our platform a little bit. Probably end up being multifaceted. Okay, there's one flake. Take another one off that next to it. Put my finger there. That kind of tore loose there. I want to create a ridge right there so we can take a take our first blade off in that direction right there. So we straighten that area out right there. Kind of a little wowy right there. So let's get rid of that. Yeah. Go back and forth like that. Got a little bit too much of a lip coming out there. little bit of a low spot right there. I think if we brush it right here with the hammer stone in this position right here we can take a flake off. It'll give us a little bit better ridge to follow for the next one. So try and position this so you can see it. I'm gonna just come like that and make a glancing blow and let's see what we can get here. Hard to swing when you're trying to. I'm trying to position it in the camera like that. That's okay. It didn't go all the way to the end, but helped out a little bit.
just working on our platform. It's going to be multifaceted. Change that angle right there, make it less than 90 so we can drive one off down here. Gotta get in there and get a little flake off of there. There we go. Use a little bit harder hammer stone to do that. A harder hammer stone will scoop it out a little bit more, as you can see. And I didn't want a real soft one that's going to overshoot and overshoot the opposite edge and ruin some of the meat in my core here. I'll reshape that a little bit. That's kind of an ugly ridge, but I think we can uh, straighten it out here by... Okay. So that gave us a little bit better shape to our core here. And we've got a fairly straight ridge there we can follow. Okay, that ridge is pretty good. We could actually remove some pressure blades on there right now if we wanted to. Just straighten it out a little bit like that. Start removing blades on here, but I think what I'm going to do here is work on this other end over here too. So That's just a choice you need to make early on. You can work with what you've got and continue to remove some blades until you get into here and then worry about this which is what I often do if I just want to make some blades. But I want to demonstrate how to make a core preform, so I'm going to take some more, a few more flakes off the platform over here to set this up so we can remove another ridge over here. Okay. So now we've got another ridge right in there, but this juts out a little bit too far, so I need to remove some small short flakes in there. Just kind of remove that overhang so to speak. Okay, platform angle is not right. I want it to be a little bit less than that. So we'll hit it with a short flake in here. Now this angle is not right for setting up the platform. <laughs> That happens sometimes. There we go. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Scoop out that little area right behind. Okay, we want to hit it right here and drive a flake off along in here just to establish another ridge. I'll abrade that sharp edge there. Not the best ridge, but I think it'll go. So I'm not going to put any more time into it than I think I need to. I'm just going to hit it like this and try and get it to go at least two-thirds of the way down. quite as far as I want it, but that's okay. I think we can get another one off right next to it here. Right in there. Work on that platform angle, get it less than less than 90. Now if I can catch that with a glancing blow, 
I can pull that off and it should spread over to here as well. Yeah, it may not go that far, it may only go to here, but that's fine. We just want to just a flake like that. Now I think we can catch one right here because the dynamics of this whole area have changed a little bit. So we can just get a short flake in here to kind of shape that, that particular edge of the core right there. Get another one right next to it. Now one right over here. Okay, that's just too sticking up there too far. That's probably gonna it's probably not strong enough to support a good blow. So in other words, that angle's like too much like 65 or 70 degrees or something. It's not strong enough of a platform angle. Normally they're when they're too heavy, that's a problem, but if they're too sharp, that can be a problem too. So now we'll just get a short one right in here. Kind of straighten that up. Okay, just gotta shape that distal end a little bit right there. It's a smaller hammer stone here. Try and get one more off in here, and then we got a pretty good core going, I think. Core preform. Trying to change that angle. Again, I don't have an angle here that I can remove this hump over here from, so I've got to get a more acute angle right in here so that I can drive a flake off in that direction. So, in order to do that, just trying to remove some little fastening flakes over here on the platform. I need a different shape hammer stone here. Let me get that little area right. Try to catch a few in here too. Really soft hammer stone, kind of too soft. But it seems to be working. There we go. Yeah, that's what we needed. Now we can hit it back away from the edge here and straighten this area out. Then we've got a nice core preform. Okay, let's see here. So I want to hit it just swiping blow like that. Okay, I'm just showing you here. All right. So we got rid of a lot of that hump right there. We've got a little more over here, but we can probably get that when we're actually pressure flaking it. We got a fairly good core preform going here that's ready to go for pressure flaking. We got a ridge over here, it's not very straight, but once we take a short flake off here, a pressure flake, we'll have a straighter ridge over here and then we can get one over here. Maybe I'll demonstrate that also, but what I wanted to show you was just how to make a preform using a hammer stone that's ready to go for removing uh, pressure blades. And this is probably the way these cores were sent to the workshops from the quarries. It looked a lot like this. Not real pretty, but you know they're they're ready to go. And after maybe a dozen blades or so are removed, you'll start getting some finer blades. And then you can probably get 40 or 50 pretty nice blades off of this thing after that. Or more if you decide to make fairly narrow, narrow blades. Okay, that's it.